how do you merge two tables or join two tables in an app sheet? Well, the, the simple answer is you can't really do that. Um, app sheet has no um, ability to directly do cross joins, left joins or right joins or, or anything like that that you'd be familiar with uh, in database operations. Um, so the simple answer for that, if, if you do need to join tables in app sheet, um, look at some some method to do it in the back end data source whether that is a database or you know using the query function in a new sheet uh in a, in a new google sheet um, that said there are ways to essentially have tables that pull um, that display data from other tables as well it's just it's much more manual process available so really simple of this uh, really simple example of, of how this can work is um, first, um, you can build a reference between uh, two tables, right? And that's only if there's like a parent-child relationship. So, for example, a project that can have many tasks. And in that task table, there's a reference field uh, that then uses the project's table to relate the two together. Um, and with this, these types of relationships, you can easily add virtual columns that... Um, basically pull uh, some column as a, you know, uh, with a simple formula called a dereference. So anything related, I'm just gonna name that dereference, but basically what a dereference is, is it has two parts. The first part is the target table itself with the, the column name that is a reference. So we have this column here, which stores the project ID for a specific task. And um, then that's followed by a dot and the next part is the column in the other table that you want to pull in here. So if we wanted to pull in project name, for example, we would look at our data explorer under um, and scroll down to the projects table and look at, um, well, to see if there's a project name. There's no project name, but maybe we wanted to pull in the project address, right? So we could then just reference that column from the other table, and then we've created that column um, in the child table as well. So that's how you do that if the tables are related. If they're not related, you can also use a lookup function. And this is basically a formula where there's four parts to it. So there's the ability to first, the entry point is what value do you want to look up specifically? So if I knew if I knew the project uh, ID in the other table or uh, the ID column in the other table, I would simply um, use that value, whether that is a static value or a column reference in your own table. So I'm just going to um, you know use project in this task table as an example. And then uh, there's the name of the table, which will be projects, and then there's the first column that you want to um, basically find uh, that first entry, the project value from, which in this case would be um, the ID column in the projects table. And then the last entry is the column that you want to extract the result from. So in this case, if we're using that same address example, it would be the address field. And then you close that function off. And this essentially does the same thing as the, um, oh, and you want to make sure that's in, uh, quotes um, sometimes because there might be some um, some issues with actually parsing that string, but this is essentially the same thing as a dereference that I just showed for you know those tables that are related. But the benefit here is you could you don't need a reference established between tables to use this lookup function. So you can basically build out the the specific virtual columns that you want to pull into the other table, and it, it, and that's a way you can do kind of a, a left join uh, with that.